Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly Grill Dome video. So today we're gonna do some beef back ribs and we're gonna make a homemade coffee rub. So let's go ahead and get started. Get our grill dome set up here. So I've got some of the grill dome lump charcoal in my firebox here. And then we're just gonna take the grill dome rapid light and stick this down up underneath here. You wanna get a lot of the lump covered on top of it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get that plugged in. And that only takes anywhere between about eight and 10 minutes to get this uh, lump charcoal nice and raging hot. All right, so it has been 10 minutes. It's kind of hard to see, but right up underneath this kind of fresh layer up top, all of those uh, pieces of uh, lump are already white hot. So this rapid light is an excellent tool for getting your grill dome fired up quickly. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. All right, so since we're cooking indirect, we're gonna go ahead and start with our indirect cooking rack in the down position. Then we're gonna throw one of the ceramic stones on top of that. So that provides our indirect setup. And then we're just gonna toss on our main cooking grate up on top. And what you wanna do is go ahead and leave both your bottom and top vents wide open after we shut the lid here and allow it to start coming up to temp. And then I'll show you where your dampers need to be set for a target temp of 250 for this cook. Okay, so for 250 on the grill dome, you only need your bottom vent about a quarter of an inch open. And then just about the same on the top, anywhere from a quarter of an inch to about an eighth of an inch. And that setting on both the top and bottom will uh, allow your grill dome just to sit and park anywhere between 225 and 250 for hours and hours without having to move anything. Okay, so for our homemade coffee rub here, this is incredibly simple and you've probably got everything you need in your pantry. So I'm gonna have the recipe up on the screen here so you can follow along. So we've got some ground coffee, some ground cloves, paprika, garlic powder, brown sugar, cayenne pepper, ground black pepper, and then some kosher salt. And we're just gonna stir this up and mix this up well. All right, and that's all we're looking for right there. So you can see this nice, rich, dark brown color, all kinds of awesome aromas coming off of this. This is gonna go really well with these beef ribs. This, this batch right here is gonna be enough for probably two or three racks of, of beef ribs. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. All right, so we've got our grill dome preheated to 250. So we're gonna go ahead and get these nice looking beef back ribs on here. Put them right in the middle. We're gonna get the lid shut and we're gonna cook these for about two and a half to three hours and then come check them. All right guys, it has been two and a half hours and you can see how nice these beef back ribs are coming out, how the meat is starting to pull off of the bone a little bit here. We got a nice bark with this coffee rub. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these and uh, get these foiled with a little bit of uh, beer to braise in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get these in our foil. And you can use beef broth or beer or wine. There's all kinds of different things you can use. You can just kind of experiment. Since I've got these rubbed down with a nice coffee rub, I'm gonna be using the Rogue Mocha Porter. This is an epic beer if you've never had this before, so try this out. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of this in here like this. This is gonna go great with these beef ribs. It's really up to you with regards to putting the ribs in meat side down or up. I actually like to have meat side up to try and preserve a little bit of this nice bark we have for them. And we're just gonna go ahead and get these wrapped up. And I like to use two pieces of heavy duty aluminum foil. All right, we'll get these back on the grill dome for about another hour to let that meat get nice and tender. All right guys, it has been right at one hour. 
went ahead and pulled the foil back and all you gotta do is take a toothpick and stick it down there and see how nice and effortlessly the toothpick goes straight down to that meat that means these are done so that was three hours outside the foil and then one hour inside the foil and this is what happens with beef back ribs that beef just pulls apart from the bone and the toothpick slides straight down in there with no effort at all so these are ready to go and uh we'll pick back up in the kitchen and take a look at them all right guys i went ahead and sliced these up and these are just as tender as you can possibly get beef ribs um but they're not just straight fall off the bone so they came up they came out perfect let me go ahead and show you one of these right here look at that awesome color on that just so juicy push on it all that juice comes out gonna go ahead and and see that nice bark on it right there I mean man let me go ahead and try this out mmm look at that bright bite right there just how perfectly the meat came off the bone but it's still sticking to it because it still has a nice little consistency to it so this uh, three hours um, straight on the grill dome then one hour in the foil came out perfect so this is that coffee rub nice little peppery co coffee rub came out perfect with this so uh, definitely check check this recipe out um, follow us on Facebook and Twitter and uh, give us a subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this video so thanks a lot for watching we'll see you again soon